We just showed you how to make a dots worksheet for addition, and you can also use household objects, just like with counting, to teach addition. You can take products that out of the refrigerator, their toys, have them add, if I have this many eggs and this many eggs, how many all together? If I have three teddy bears and I add one more teddy bear, and you can do that all throughout your household. Um, but once they've learned addition for about a couple weeks, you can start to introduce subtraction if you think they have the concept clearly down of addition. And again, for subtraction, you can start with a very basic dots worksheet. Now, instead of dots, we're going to draw circles because you'll see it's a little better to make them a little bigger, but it's the same basic idea. Now, first teach them that the minus sign means we're taking something away and teach them the first number is how many we have. This means we're taking away the next number from how many we have. So we have four and we're taking away three. That's why children learn the word take away rather than subtract for a long time. They'll use that word instead because it, it makes concrete sense to them. And of course, this means what will we have? What will we get? This is what you get when you do this. For four, I have them draw four circles. Now instead of drawing circles over the three, because it's takeaway, we're going to show how many of these circles we get rid of. So we're going to X out one, two, three, and have them count out loud in the beginning. How many are left? We get one when we do this. Again, draw six, and then don't draw anything for one. Instead, how many do we take away? One. Count how many are left with your pencil tip. One, two, three, four, five, and continue that way. Remember, you can make as many of these as you can. You can make them quickly. You can photocopy them, or you can just keep making fresh ones to give them the ideas so they can keep getting new problems.